Hey there, Park Church. Uh, it's me, Pastor Joe, and we not got... Pastor Joe. My name is Brandon. <laughs> uh, I've found that it's best if I introduce myself every time, although it's created a great source of harassment in the Pasco House. The girls mercilessly harass me for introducing myself each and every time, but uh, that's for anybody who might be out there that doesn't know me yet. So I'm Pastor Joe, and you are not Pastor Joe. Great. Okay. Uh, so as you can see, it's Brandon and myself this morning or this afternoon or evening, whenever you see this. We just want to go through a few things with you. Uh, this is our, our second week coming up here without face-to-face -face, uh, interactive worship where we're gathering together in the same space. But um, just because we're distanced by space doesn't mean that we're distanced by God. The Holy Spirit meets us wherever we are and transforms us wherever we are. Our hope this weekend is as you plug into the live stream at 10 a.m., on a Sunday morning that you would be able to engage and authentically worship in your mm -hmm. homes. We love hearing your feedback. We love uh, having you connect with us on Facebook and different platforms and, and media outlets. You can always email us, pastor.joe at parkumc.org or brandon.meacham at parkumc.org. We've also got the info at parkumc.org uh, email as well, which is a general uh, inbox for us. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of things that we want to uh, invite you to. Social media has been a great thing for us. Brandon's going to tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, so hopefully you guys have noticed our social media has really picked up. It's been a primary uh, uh, avenue of communication, and it's working really well. Uh, some of you have been engaging with us through the uh, 8 p.m. and 8 a.m. prayer times, and uh, I got to tell you, I personally love that time and that time of connection, and we've heard some really cool stories coming out of that. Also, you've seen videos. You're going to see more pretty soon from our teams and our different ministries popping up there. So make sure you like that Facebook uh, page for Park, and make sure you also subscribe to our YouTube page. Hit those notifications buttons, and you'll be updated. That way you don't miss a single thing, guys. So we also want to have a little bit of fun. We found some Tim Hortons gift cards. So uh, I know I could use a little energy, and I'm sure some of you could too. So we'd love to, uh, to have a little bit of a giveaway, have a little fun this week. So make sure you like this post, and we're going to put the names together and pick one at random uh, to give a little joy and a little bit of energy in the uh, form of coffee. Back to you, Pastor Joe. Thanks, Brandon. I'm wondering if I can win that Tim Hortons gift card. Absolutely not. Well then... Okay, I won't like the page. So, uh, a couple of things coming up that we want to just uh, call your attention to. We've already talked about our platforms through social media. We've talked about the different prayer times. Make sure you get, if you don't get a chance to plug in with us live at 8 a.m. or 8 p.m., you can follow up with those. They're, uh, they're on our Facebook site all the time now after we've uploaded it. So you can catch back in. And I just want to share a quick testimony from someone this morning. She caught Brandon's this morning, and he launched from uh, Psalm 63. And she said to me something afterwards. She says, you know, I just really needed to hear that today. He invited us to take seriously what we're starting the day with. And uh, she goes, I had to reorient myself and get reconnected again. And God just really used that time to speak to me. Mm -hmm. So uh, I just really encourage you to share those stories with others, too, of how God's moving in your lives. And if you come across a need or even a desire that maybe the church can help fill, make sure you reach out. Pastor.joe at parkumc.org or info at parkumc.org or also... Brandon Don Meacham at parkumc.org. We want to leave you with a passage in Scripture and just a little word of encouragement for you. Last night in our time of prayer, God uh, really started to move, and some of you have been talking about that already. Mm -hmm. And I want to leave you with those same two verses today. And they come to us from Psalm 94, and it's verses 18 and 19. And it says, uh, When I thought my foot slips, your steadfast love, O Lord, held me up. Verse 19 says, when the cares of my heart are many, your consolations cheer my soul. Church, we're in unprecedented times. We are definitely in the midst of something we've never been in before. Mm. But God is always present with us. Our hope is that you'll continue to share that grace and that love with others around you. And that you'll find encouragement through the church. But even if we fail at times, let the Lord be your encouragement. Let the Lord console your soul. Let the Lord lift you up. His love, his mercy, his grace. Because you are deeply loved, church. God bless you. We'll see you Sunday. See you guys. Until we meet again, I miss you already. Take Bye -bye. care.